Devin Gray with Optimized Thinness Performance, talking about seven exercises for you to do if you can't perform squats. Now the fifth exercise on my list is the box step down. As you can see, I have two boxes here, one 12 inch box, one 18 inch box for use. Now I have started beginner clients off or clients coming back from a knee, hip or ankle injury, which is overall really severe glute weakness with as low as a four inch box or eight inch box. Now why would you perform a step down? The biggest reason to perform a step down is to improve the stability of the knee joint itself by strengthening the muscles in the hip, especially your glute medius, that small muscle that really controls that knee joint and keeps the knee from caving in. If you have a weak glute medius, you see a lot of them on squats. When you squat, right, and they come up, and the knees buckle, and they come up like that. The knees buckling in, as they squat, we would call it a valgus collapse of the knee. Now, a lot of times you'll see this in athletes that are prone to ACL injuries, prone to knee injuries, um, cell femoral pain, oftentimes you'll see a lot of weakness in that knee as well. So strengthening the glute, and things like bridges, clamshell, is very, very important, but strengthening it dynamically through, through a step down through that actual athletic movement, very important. And that's why it's key for, for my clients who can't squat, especially clients who they can't squat full range of motion because of flexibility, knee pain, especially for patella femoral pain. I've had a lot of clients that start off in the very, very beginning, it even looks like a good squat. You know, they can squat, they can get down there, but as they come up, they'll feel that knee pain. Especially right in that kneecap, you see a lot of the times. They might come up, maybe their knee shifts forward, and they come up. That's usually a sign that the hamstring, sorry, the hamstring is a dominant over the glute. So step down is great for teaching them, all getting back down to that control in the knee using the hip muscles. Very important exercise. As you can tell, I'm kind of passionate about the step down. I use it very often. It's a great predictor of injury risk as well on the knee. So without getting too geeky about step downs, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So a 12 inch box, some people call this basically a single leg squat off of a box. It's a great way to learn how to do a pistol squat, which is one of the seven exercises. I'm gonna swing my arms forward to counterbalance, and I'm gonna sit back into my hip. Now what you're gonna watch is this knee, this ankle, and this hip. I need to keep all three stacked as I come down. So I'm gonna set my eyes on something in front of me, stare it the whole way down, and touch. Now you watch that I get my heel flat. My left leg stays straight as I come up, which is fairly advanced to be honest. In the beginning, you might have to come down and put that toe down to come up. Or you might have to come down and kind of shoot off that leg. In which case, you're working just that negative or the eccentric. And that's fine, if you have to do that, Work that eccentric, come down slow, and then just kind of push off and come back up. What's really important on the step down is that slow, steady, so that time I wasn't looking at the right spot, and it's worse. Look straight ahead. So that slow, steady control down and up is really the key. Now you can also progress this into working on a pistol squat or using a higher object. This is slightly above my hip, which is fine in my case, I can handle it. But same thing applies. I'm gonna move in on the box. I was too much on the edge, I started to lose my balance. I'm gonna sit back, really reach, and then I come back off. This is excellent for preparing for a true single leg squat. A lot of times you see athletes hold dumbbells in their hands and reach them out as they do this to overload the movement. But it's a phenomenal builder for the quads and for the glutes and hamstrings that majorly enhances knee stability. These I usually perform with my clients for sets of eight to begin with. So this is the box step down, both at 12 inches and 18 inches. An excellent alternative for both beginners and advanced clients, very strong athletes who use these all the time if you can't squat.